Hi, so I am merging my course from a previous semester and I thought I would just record the steps. So if somebody wanted to do this and they wanted some step by step. So I just went into my brand new course that has nothing in it and I want to click, click, click import existing content. I'm going to select that I want to copy a Canvas course and then I need to find the course. So the course that I want to pull over is from last semester and I know it's this particular section. I want to select all the content because I want the whole course to come over, not just um, exams or anything like that. But I do need to adjust the events. So here, if you merge over right away, you might hit some glitches. See how this course starts on a Monday and the next course starts on a Tuesday? That could cause problems. It could shift your due date. So like, let's say you have Friday deadlines. It may move, <clears throat> move them to Saturday. So here's what I do. The first thing I do is move them to the same um, Monday, Monday. But I want to double check and make sure the length of these times is the same. So um, this says it starts August 10th and goes to December 30th. And I am going to um, put into here August 10th to December 30th. Now often I, not today, sorry, um, will I change my start dates I, actually, I always change my start dates from what's originally posted in the course because I like them to fit this model and I like them to start earlier or be op available earlier. So if this doesn't, if these dates don't match up with what you see, that's probably why. So I'm going to, I just went to a website that says timeanddate.com and put in the dates. And now I see that's 142 days starting on a Monday, ending on a Wednesday. So 142 days is what I'm targeting. So if I go back to my import, I now want to put in these dates and make sure that they are also 142 days. So I'm going to come back in here and make sure I remember 142. Ugh, all these numbers in my head I have now. This is why I keep a piece of paper next to me. <laughs> January 18th to May 26th. So now I want to, I'm just going to say today and then I can adjust it more easily. January 18th to May, oh, I forgot already. That didn't, ha that didn't take long. May 26th. May 26th. Okay. Remember, I'm targeting 142 days, so I'm going to click cal calculate and see how it says 128 days. I'm not surprised because I um this is starting at the start week where I usually start earlier. So, I'm off by a little bit. Um I can actually because I I teach math, but I'm not good at it. 142 minus 128. I'm off by two weeks. So that probably means if I'm thinking about when the other course started, is that I, when I think about it, I know that I add a week ahead of the, um, the typical start date and a week after the end date. So I kind of flank. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to be starting on the 11th and then instead of the 26th we're going to just go into June so January 11th to June 2nd let's just double check so we want this to be the 11th and I want this to be June 2nd now look again I'm looking for 142 and I have 142 days so I am going to go ahead and let that run. And what I want to double check then afterwards is that I know I have nothing due um, until the first full week of class or the first week of class. So that would for us be January 18th. I might have something due on that Friday. So once this course is fully brought over, I want to make sure that the deadlines are on the appropriate weeks. If I'm off by a week, it may mean that I needed to start this a week later or start this a week earlier, if that makes sense. If that happens, you can go into the settings, reset your course, and start all over again and adjust these dates. But because I know I tend to do, I open my course a week early and leave it hanging a week later um, just so my dates can merge over well, that's my pattern. So I'm going to now click import and it'll take a little while for it to pull over, but then I can check my assignment deadlines and make sure that the weeks are lined up. If you have put dates on your announcements, your announcements now, now roll over to the appropriate times. Anything you put a date stamp on in the original course will now be rolled over to the new dates. My course has completed importing, so I just wanted to show you how I'm going to double check the dates. Um, this is how I know it says completed. If I go over to my assignments link, 
<clears throat> so my homework are the first things that it should appear and there are they are due on Fridays and I have two homework due the first week um, that I have assignments due and these dates look appropriate for me another way I could check is if I go to the calendar and so what I can see is this is our first week of class I don't have anything due this week because people are coming in and um, meeting each other um, and that kind of thing I like to have that a little bit of a buffer um, but then the assignment starts so as I scroll through the weeks this is exactly what I wanted I wanted my Friday homework deadlines my discussion Monday deadlines and my exams are on Mondays so as I scroll through um, this is what I expected it to look like I have this final assignment and um, that could be due in this final week this allows me to to move things around a bit for spring break so um, I will have to move these dates for spring break and that just happens from fall to spring rollovers if you were just doing a fall to fall rollover or a spring to spring rollover then that spring break will already be factored in so let's say that it hadn't looked the way you wanted it to so if your course didn't merge over appropriately let's say it's a week ahead or a week behind or the dates are off for some other reason you can go into settings and you can reset course content if you hit reset course content it'll wipe everything you pulled over and then you can re-import and adjust your dates accordingly so this will help you get your date set up so that's one uh, this is again another reason why I encourage people to if you have an announcement that you're regularly going to be sending students like I send out announcements about um, welcome to the week um, the course has or sorry Saddleback has kind of resources for you and um, there's free food all these things um, are now time stamped and um, oh actually those are the ones that aren't but um, now I know that they'll be sent regularly Th that is one trick is I I don't time stamp things that are just for the particular course so um, like I had a review session last semester it's gonna be a different date so I don't want that to be rolled over so all of these um, announcements here that, that, that don't have a timestamp it's a reminder to me to delete them so I can just go through and and click on these I'll, I'll be more skilled later and but I can hit delete and then um, those are always be kind of at the the tail end of the announcement list but the rest of my announcements are timestamped so they're synced up with the course material um, so here's the beginning of when I started sending announcements to them that are unique to the semester but here's my first one with a timestamp it says welcome to the course so it's nice if you can timestamp stuff that you want to roll over and then don't put timestamps on the other things so that you know those are the ones to delete okay well send me questions if you think of them and I will make either another video or just answer your question